All right, we are back and going to go over a few juicy examples to start out and then some miscellaneous topics moving on. All right, this, do you notice anything weird? We're in Mexico here, right here, this little spot. I think this looks a little strange. See, we've got this sandbar here on the exterior. Um, and then the, another one here, just not quite sure how that would have formed. Um, and then also seems like a very clean, uh, clean shape there, clean curve. This looks goofy to me. And then there's this old grid pattern here that we've seen. Um, long streaks along the coast in Mexico as well. Uh, well, uh, everywhere. But I'll, I'll give you a, a longer tour of it later. Just wanted to show you this one thing right here. Um, see these long streaks along the coast. Not quite sure what could have caused that. Although in some places, I think the streaks could be, could even be seismic. Um, perhaps, there's a good one, like, uh, if you could imagine, like, an earthquake causing, like, low-frequency ripples across the Earth's surface, and it just causes a, a permanent feature in some places, not necessarily just the coast. Maybe. It's, it's just something that occurred to me. All right, let's go to the Philippines. This one's pretty crazy. I think so. Where's, where's LOL? There we go. Okay, so we are in the Philippines right here. Um, so a couple of these islands have a, a very weird look to them. See these crisscross patterns? What is it, farming? I don't know. Uh, Fishing, maybe, laying pipe or something, or electrical lines, maybe, exploring, off-roading in your boat or something, possibly, um, just very, very regular in some places, and then very irregular in other places. Like, what is all this? Obviously, there's people right here, and they're doing stuff. Just don't know if they did all this. You can see it just kind of fades into the water, whatever it is. Okay, so that's one spot. And then many of these islands have this the exact same pattern. Like uh, this one right here. Whole area crisscrossed. Zoom in there. And it's tough to say whether this is like marshy area or... Um, like, is this like solid land or, or like shallow, like is it underwater? It's, it's, it's tough to say just from the, the Google map. But there's a look at that, whatever you think that might be. And same thing on this island, on and off. It's not everywhere, but it's a lot of places. Right here. Crisscrossing. Yes. Straight gap. Right through there. More crisscrossing. Faint parallel lines, whatever that is. More, looks like a, like a waffle pattern, or kind of like a microchip. Whole island is rectangly. Indeed it is. Weird little angle right there. Um, kind of angular, angular patches of, of island. 
Not quite sure what to make of it. Here's another. Got the populated area down here. Doing their thing. And then you've got all this. I don't... <laughs> I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Modern activity. Ancient something. Uh, like raised across with a, a tool or something. I don't know. Again, farming or something. Or maybe like a big, big modern art piece. I don't know. This guy, same deal. Okay. I'm going to spend too much time on Google Maps today. I'm going to cover other stuff. And then... I think that's good enough. Uh, number of examples for now. Alright, another thing I wanted to show was in Japan right here. Okay. It's interesting, if you zoom in... Oh, yeah, there we go. These, like, fake buildings up here. I don't know what that is. It's probably just like a privacy thing. Like, they don't want to show you the actual buildings for legal reasons or whatever. I don't know. But anyways, what I wanted to show was this uh, 360 photo, these rocks right here. Um, it looks like the remains of an old wall or something, but it almost looks like it continuously morphs into a natural pattern. So let's get our bearings first. There's the, the beach and whatever. Obviously, we've got this little wall right here. Modern, old, and here you can see uh, like the wall kind of like the, I don't know, rotting away, I guess. Like it's like the surface of it came off and then underneath it's all like spongy. Not quite sure why. It almost makes me think this is like a natural like coral formation thing, but it doesn't, it looks like stacked rocks, which is, here you see like stacked rocks, like a wall. And then it almost like, like by this portion here, it almost looks like natural. You see what I mean? And then over here, it's more natural looking rock. Either that or it's more eroded right here. Because uh, it's closer to the water and it was all uh, a stone wall or something like that. Who built it? When? I don't know. And then this part of buried wall or something right here. I don't think it's a modern project. Could be wrong. But that's that. I think that's a pretty cool example. Let's go to, what is it, Portugal or Spain or something. Let's see. These grids. Is this what I mean? So we've got these, uh, I think this is France. These patterns here. Not sure what all that is. Might be some type of fishing device or something, fish trap or whatever. It's a pretty vast area. Not sure. Could be anything. Um, but there are weirder versions of it. Yeah, I think over here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, similar to what we were just looking at. But you see it just kind of goes underwater. Like it's sticking up in some places and then it just kind of fades into the ocean. Which makes me think it's like an old feature in, uh, kind of in disrepair or whatever. And it's this whole area here, just like this whole area on the coast of France, I think. So what do we see? It's like, what are these lines? I don't, yeah, see, I don't, I don't know what that is. 
I'll feel stupid if it's like something really simple. Like maybe they're just, I don't know, like rows of big industrial pipes or something. It's a pretty big area. We've got some just chilling by themselves over here. This is, I'm, I'm just calling this an old grid because I don't know what, what else to call it. See, kind of like an old area of whatever. Looks like it's eroding away. It doesn't look like it's currently being used. Although some theories would be like a shrimp farm or, I don't know, algae farm or something. Okay, anyways. Let's hop over to Google Chrome. So I found this uh, article. You can check it out if you want. Um, ex giving a po possible alternate explanation for these uh, grid lines or whatever you want to call them. These lines. Uh, this is White Oak Con Conservation in Florida. And uh, it's got these lines. And what they, they say is it's... Uh, Abandoned rice paddies from the 1700s, I believe. You can read this if you want. But, um, that's the conventional explanation for some of these areas. So, like, here's the Google Maps of it. In Florida right here. And it's this. And apparently this is abandoned rice paddies, where they used to do rice farming. And that is plausible, it kind of looks like it, you know. Uh, it might be. Um, I just wonder if all the places like this are, are rice paddies. You know, like what else we got up here? Weird uh, crisscrossing areas. I didn't get lucky this time. A lot of this area has like strange crisscrossing stuff. No, ah, didn't see it there. Okay, let's go to India real quick and I'll show you. I think I showed you this already, but right here. I think this is technically a conservation area as well. And you see these strange patterns. It's kind of similar to what we saw in that white oak area just now. Um, see these strange... Could be rice farming. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. There's this whole area. It's like big vast area of shapes. like walls and like empty rectangles don't know what to make of it hmm streaks whatever okay I just wanted to show you this and then this whole uh, whole region uh, west coast of India is the same deal like got this old kind of eroding pattern here. See it kind of fading into the water. There. Here as well. Little area. Okay, um, what's next? You bored yet? <laughs> Got a bunch of stuff. Okay. Um, okay, this is interesting. Here's another possible explanation for those, uh, those, uh, lines, these lines here, uh, abandoned rice paddies, so-called. So this is, uh, some type of meeting from some conference or something. What is the World Summit meeting and who is behind it? What is the World Summit meeting and who is behind it? The UNSAID World Summit, that's U-N-C-E-D, World Summit, 
is a key event in a series of environment meetings which have occurred since 1972. Maurice Strong, a UN official and an employee of the Rockefeller and Rothschild Trusts and Projects, convened the first Congress in Stockholm, Sweden in 1972. Those core wilderness areas are to be interconnected by wilderness corridors off limits to human beings. Those wilderness areas are to be surrounded by buffer zones that may have limited resource use under the supervision and permitting of the federal government. So he just said, those core wilderness areas are to be interconnected, uh, what do you say, interconnected by those areas off limits to human beings. So I don't know what he's talking about, but I guess he means like, uh, I, I'm just throwing this out there that some of these lines we're seeing might be due to whatever project he's talking about, um, corridors connecting wilderness areas. I mean, maybe that explains some of the uh, the long lines and inexplicable shapes we see. I don't know. Okay, this guy. That's uh, what I wanted to focus on here. This is Antelope Canyon in Arizona. And I wanted to draw your attention to... See how this seam right here is like really... Uh, uniform and clean so we've got these layers and obviously this streaking pattern is not just like surface level cosmetic because you can see you can see the the layers breaking away here so i mean it's it's legit rock the question i wanted to raise is um how does it have such a smooth transition here so here the the layers are going this way you can see, if you look closely, going that way. And then here the layers are going up into it in this direction. And then somehow there's like this very clean uh, transition between them, like completely flat. Um, so, uh, so let's say these are geological layers and then, you know, millions of years going on top one layer on top of another and then uh, then there's an earthquake or something and the whole thing tilts and then new layers st start piling on top of that I guess that would be the explanation um, I part of me just feels like it was like put together like a a layer cake or like a again like toothpaste out of a toothpaste tube or like it's that 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 super clean change of direction that's that's bugging me a little bit. Let's see, uh, you can see it better in some other places. Here you can kind of see it actually right here. See these horizontal, perfectly horizontal, and then perfect transition, and then just super going the other way. But like, there's no like messy transition between this direction and this direction. It's like perfect, perfect seam in between those two different directions. And it's just a little weird, I think. And very reminiscent of, uh, let's see, this video here is just a clip from a random health video. But you kind of see that, uh, See, it's like the, the material was like swept or, I don't know, brushed. It looks like a brush stroke almost. All right, I'm, I mean, it kind of looks like muscle fiber as well. So, so these like this abrupt change of direction here, I'm just not quite sure how to account for that. You see multiple instances of it. Um, like right here, you see it going up this way, kind of organically fanning out, and then here, changes direction. Um, don't know what 
want to say. This is Zion National Park in somewhere, Utah or something. Um, Angels Landing. You see the streaks going this way. And then another set, like just cutting right across it, going the other way. Like usurping the direction. That's not a good explanation, but I just, it weirds me out a little. And these are just some, some rocks I, I photographed uh, down the street. This rock, uh, just like a small rock, like 10 inches across or something. See those uniform striations and kind of organically flowing. I just wanted to view the phenomenon on different scales. Like here you see it kind of wobbling, wobbling there. Not perfectly uniform. This is just for my curiosity. I don't, I don't really have a point to make on this. Just observing, observing the patterns. See, this one's interesting because you have these, you have these lines crossing. They're like, it's like they're veins of something. And uh, if it were geological layers, you wouldn't necessarily expect it to cross like that. Um, it's just like veins of mineral, I guess. What else would it be? Although, some people think uh, rocks are basically like um, petrified meat. <laughs> I think that's interesting. Like uh, this could be like this kind of looks like meat. <laughs> it's interesting, interesting patterns. See the the crisscrossing is what gets me. Like one going one way and then going the other way as well. Some interesting flow patterns. Okay, so this is like a very small scale, like like this big example of some of the, like, the streaking pattern, which, I mean, it's basically a universal pattern. It shouldn't be that surprising, but that's like a small-scale version of, well, let me just finish the rest of these pictures. Um, here you see the kind of similar example of the streaks changing directions, like this streaking up into this, and then this one taking over. Again, kind of like like muscle tissue or something. Not saying that's what I believe it is, it just kind of looks like that. This one's a little the uh, more coarse in the streaks. Just interesting to look at. Kind of fleshy. I think the one thing, yeah, this looks like a, a big steak. <laughs> and these, I don't know what to make of these. I see these in people's front yards. They're like, like bubbly. Uh, blobs of rock. These might be like man-made, like for sh for gardens or whatever. So I won't get too into that. I wouldn't know what to make of it, anyways. Okay, but those uh, the streaking patterns are similar to this streak we see in Russia. I mean, obviously this is like a a large-scale thing here. This is off the coast of Russia, and I just. It just strikes me as odd how it like abruptly ends like that. It looks like multiple brush strokes, like one stroke kind of going this way and then another pass through this way that like curves that way, curves that way. I don't know what else would have caused it. Like naturally, I guess like uh, icebergs or I mean uh, glaciers or some kind of weathering, flooding. I don't know. Again, could even be seismic somehow in some way I don't quite understand. Um, see how it's just like going this direction, chilling, and then this this direction like overtakes it. Um, not chilling. I mean like continuous, like no sign of changing direction, and then this one just like cuts over it. So it makes me think there's like multiple pass-throughs with whatever did this. Or again, some people might 
even say that this is like, this looks like muscle tissue of some kind. Obviously that would be a massive scale. That's not my best guess. I think it was like, whatever created this coastline left these streak marks and then in an attempt to look natural it uh, <laughs> made multiple passes with the, the paintbrush, so to speak. All right, let's keep going. What was this? Yeah, I think I just wanted to show, well, you see these lines here, like grooves. And then I think I just wanted to show here the, the direction of the striations again, or the layers. Let's keep going. Here, kind of wanted to show, it's like WTF, uh, Devil's Doorway in Peru. It's like this rock formation with this lone rectangle cut out of it with a, a door, like a, just a weird door gate thing. This is, that's one of the reasons why I think it's just like a, a big, a big show, like a big, a big nothing show. Like, hey, look at this thing that was never used for anything or never served a purpose. See, like, kind of like maybe a weird cut right there. Machining or whatever. And... Stairs and shit. And I think I just wanted to show, like, the background here. This is kind of like that grid pattern. You can kind of see that up close here. It's like low stone walls with, um, like, patches, alternating patches of dirt and grass. Um, I just wonder how much of it is recent farming activity and how much of it is... Uh, like some ancient ancient weird project. Here's an interesting article. The Stone Walls of Ireland, kind of related to that. Um, all over Ireland you have these, these stone walls, um, which apparently uh, the article says they're, they like to make their soil more fertile. The, the soil is very rocky, so they, they take all the rocks out of these patches and then uh, stack them up on the side of the, the farmland, or the patch of land that they're going to use. And here you see uh, like what it looks like up close. A lot of variety, different, different ways that it's done. Um, and just this, take a look at the scale of it. Um, obviously you see the land is very rocky, so... Again, this could be 100% as they say, so it could just be, um, and then I think they say they, they build the, the, the walls for like the wind or something to keep the, or some, I don't know, I forget, I could read it, <laughs> I should read it, but and I just noticed that they're not really growing anything other than grass, which is like, what a waste. Um, like I don't see any crops is my point so and then this resembles stuff we've seen elsewhere in the world so I'm just wondering how it all got there if it really is from a few centuries of farm farm hands crisscross the country don't know if I buy it but I might but I might not Moving on. Okay, a couple notes on uh, Tartaria and mud flood, the general phenomenon. So Tartaria, all I really want to say on that is this is the Sistine Chapel. I just want to say like everybody keeps saying it's all like beautiful and gorgeous. And I've been to some of these places like in Europe and stuff. And it is pretty, pretty cool looking. I just, I, it just looks like cheesy to me. Like cheesy and nonsensey. Like, uh, like a false beauty or like a stepped down beauty or like a, uh, 
like a bastardized beauty, like they cheesed it up. <laughs> if that makes sense. Maybe it's, I just have bad taste or like like this type of building. I don't I think it's just like goofy and it doesn't look like high civilization to me. At least not how I would build a high civilization. It's like uh I don't know. It looks like it was created to to wow us, but not wow us too much to where we remember what real beauty looks like. See, this is like beauty plus false authority to me. No, it could be just because I've seen so many capital bu buildings that look like this, but uh, I don't know. I don't like it. Um, this dude's just talking about the streaks in Africa. Here's some streaks. These large-scale streaks spanning uh, hundreds of miles, really. There we go. So I'll show you in my Google. Google Earth. So these streaks span hundreds of miles and what? Let's see, is it scrape marks? Is it channels irrigation? Is it a meteor shower? Is it a flood from a flood going left to right or right to left? Is it, uh, again, it could be like seismic, like little ripples across the landscape of some kind. And it looks different in different places. Like here, it's more flowy. Whatever. Okay. All right, Wise Up is a good channel. He's talking here about the kind of multiple different styles you see in these buildings. Like these look like they're like big one, like solid stone columns, but then you see there's like parts are chipped away and you can watch this video. He's talking about like, see it's like plaster and then concrete underneath or something. Hmm. Here's another video of his showcasing the, uh, I guess what he's, a, he's hypothesizing is an upside down shipwreck. Then there's this part here on the outside of it, right here. He's saying that that looks like it was added later, parts of it or part of it to make it look like something it's not, like some kind of ancient structure or something. So he's saying some of this dressing is uh, more recent. And I kind of agree because look at this island in uh, India. There's these like Elephanta caves, whatever. And if you look at some of the pictures here, here's a 360 view. Um, Oh shit, I wanted to show Wise Up's other image first. Here's Wise Up's Temples of India video. I think this is Angkor Wat. And a couple bullet points here. So notice that there's these different columns, different styles. You got circular, kind of octagonal here, more like hexagon there. And then different tops, like this one doesn't have the, the square at the top with the, the circular whatever. And it's, it's like, uh, it's hodgepodgey. 
And then you've got this clumsy kind of like flat area here, just like flat. Um, see, this whole thing to me looks pseudo ornate. It looks like uh, it's reminiscent of the entry to that that ship or whatever thing. It's just like some kind of bullshitty thing that they just plaster on top. And I think Wise Up is saying like there's a possibility that these are like it was like a wood structure and then it was covered in mud and then petrified and then this has been like removed out. Or I'm kind of putting words in his mouth, but well, there's some possibilities. It looks cut. I mean, it almost looks like the whole rock was like this big plaster blob and then they did various things with it like like I, these stupid like vertical tick marks like what what was that and then this is like a look at this it's like a uh, there's a little staircase right here and then there's like this little half stairs that don't really do anything like what was that it doesn't look like something functional that was broken it just looks like and it could, be, it could have been multiple phases here, like it, it was an advanced thing and then some, or a, a beautiful structure and then someone came along later and did an additional like um, tool job on it, like, uh, or it was all created at once and like these weird kind of brush strokes of, looks like, I don't know, like tool marks or or as if it was molded when when the stone was wet or something. Um, 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 um. Yeah, okay, so these caves in India are very similar, or just a different part of India. I just happened to stumble onto these. Um, again, you see the columns, like the square outcrop were cut there. A couple random stairs. Like, it just looks stupid. <laughs> Uh, like, uh, let's look at some other pictures. Random dude with three heads. Oh, walk into the shroom, it's magic. Again, I'm calling this like pseudo ornate. Like these these false gods that came and like put pictures of false gods <laughs> on walls <laughs> just for the hell of it. Oh, a false god party. Look at us, we're in the afterlife. I don't know. Like these stupid columns, they just, they're ugly. They're like ugly beautiful. Beautiful, ugly, beautiful. It's not real beauty, it's... it's uh, well, I mean, it's subjective, obviously. But, uh... Ah, butt cramp. Uh, some more caves nearby. We're just looking here, now let's go over here. Let's enter. Can hear it, can hear it, hairy caves, can hairy caves. Let's look at the photos, nothing, that's just like the landscape. More, more boobs and loincloths. Holding hands and worshiping consciousness. Isn't it inspiring? See, again, it could have been multiple stages, like multiple iterations of like building and rebuilding and tear it down, try to put it back together and Or try to slander someone else's sight. What the hell is this guy doing? It's like a stupid pose. It's like, look at his cartoon arms. Like, you have all this technology to, to build all this, and then you build this, like, ugly, like, clumsy, clumsy arm. 
It's like a cartoon, dude. I don't get it. Blah, blah, blah. Cut into the rock like Petra. Or some people don't think it's cut. They think it's like a wood structure that was petrified. And now it's... I don't know. Zion Narrows. Okay, here's another... I'm going a little out of order here. Here's another spot. Flat striations parallel, and then just changes of direction streaking across. Just odd to me. Though you see it pretty vividly there, actually. Very continue or very abrupt seam where the layers are all going this way, and then nope, now they're going a different way. <laughs> 